to race trader slash nigger lovers. That's a, us. That's, right. That would be us. Boy, how's it going, dickhead? Well, I have a few two questions to ask you. How can you like someone when they wish your whole race was dead? I'm not threatening you or anything like that. And just remember that part, I'm not threatening you. You see, I have three people who give me information on the ARA, such as what they are up to every day. I also know where a lot of them live. Let's see if they can find their way out of a burning house. Ha ha ha. We'll go back to we'll go back to the beginning. I'm not threatening you or anything like that. You don't see like organized gangs of you know white power skinheads roaming the cities in 1999 because organized groups of anti-racist skinheads and punk rockers and whoever else who was going to fight those people drove them out and you know they're on the internet and they're out in the suburbs and areas you know where they can be safe but they know they can't come into the cities i mean there i mean there are a couple of places left in america that are still strongholds but you know they're not running anything like they were then we are two different groups we are going to clash we are going to we're gonna, you know, have our problems. We're gonna, we're gonna fight. We're gonna do whatever it takes to get the other out of the way to get on with what we gotta do. Forever. Forever. There's always gonna be racism. There's always gonna be hate. Whatever it takes. Sometimes, you know, it takes murder. And, uh, you know, if, if you're about what you say you're about, you're going to do what it takes. When I first started working on this project, I knew nothing about the movement. Back then, I didn't even know that groups like the World Church of the Creator existed. So when I heard Matt Hale was successfully recruiting young people in the upper middle class, I had to talk to him. I want to have Illinois be a haven for our people. Is there anybody relocating from the Midwest area that I could meet? That would be interesting. Well, we have a fellow in Indiana who is seriously thinking about it. Oh, that could be interesting. Oh, you could send him an e email too. It's okay. Ben Smith at Indiana dot edu. What's he doing in Indiana, basically organizing and going to school? or? Yes, he's organizing things and he's distributing a lot of copies of our literature around. Oh, wow. Brown town. Huh, I'll have to look him up. Uh, there's a lady that didn't get her free newspaper yet. White supremacists are lurking. I'm sorry, could you say that again? Because I didn't have a good one. Oh, no, 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 no. Just saying how you guys are going to promo this. A seemingly peaceful town, but Reverend Hale is sowing the seeds of hatred. <laughs> it's usually how they are. Arian Santa Claus. Do your parents know you're here? Mm -hmm. Yeah, my, my parents know that I'm, I'm here. Uh, we're not really on speaking terms at this point, though. A move is, it's, it's a sacrifice, but it's, uh, it's definitely worthwhile if we can get this organization going and uh, really become a, a force to be reckoned with. Ben talked about nonviolent tactics, but in the early 90s, a member of his church was accused of murdering an African American. Using the courts to defeat the racist group, the Southern Poverty Law Center won a million-dollar lawsuit on behalf of the victim's family, leaving the Church of the Creator bankrupt. But this 1994 victory didn't last very long. You came in in 1995, Five. right? Yes. So, th so this particular book doesn't really, I don't think it mentions you at all, actually, but okay. it talks about the history of what Church of the Creator was. Right. So if you can put your... There, there's some places I marked. You can maybe make your comments about it. Okay. What do you say? Well, you know, when I read things about plots to bomb and things of that nature, that makes about as much sense as as uh, blaming the, the Pope in Rome for uh, every abortion clinic bomber. His answer made sense, but I don't remember the Pope saying, if doctors perform abortions, Catholics will take it upon themselves to commit crimes. If people are going to commit illegal activities, they should do so outside the world church, the Creator, to protect the church and to protect themselves. They, oh, okay, this is just the general haters. <laughs> we have a we have a Negro in here, Robert Brock. He was against the Holo Holocaust. Certainly, the next book I'll, I should be in. 
I would certainly think. James K. Warner. Yeah, that's the lead page. Facts that the government and the media don't want you to know, which is our main distribution document. Uh, this is part of the Talmud. Quote, if a goy kills a goy or a Jew, and goy means Gentile, basically, he is responsible. But if a Jew kills a goy, he is not responsible. I haven't heard the ADL renounce this. I've never heard any Jew uh, say, hey, we don't believe this, this was wrong, it's in our book, but we deny, you know, we don't believe in it. Instead, they simply attack our document here as being hateful. But which is hateful? Us reporting what the Jews are saying about the non-Jews, or quotes such as this, they're calling anyone who's not a Jew a beast uh, created by God to serve the Jew. Right now it's a war of, of words. It's not necessarily uh, a shooting war. Probably there will be what we call a bloody rahoa. This is not a game that we're playing. I mean, this, this is a life or death struggle for the future of our race and the future for our children. Time is not on our side. Our situation gets graver every day. So now is really the time for action. I walked out to get my newspaper, uh, which is always right here, and there were a little bag sitting on the sidewalk, and I noticed it was all up and down the streets, both sides, and I thought it was an ad because that happens. Picked it up and just to see what the ad was, and here I saw on this leaflet that was in front of the magazine, Racial Holy War. I took it in and I said, look at this, am I seeing things or is this real? Uh, I, I actually thought maybe I was hallucinating. So you know you hit the mayor's lawn, right? You yeah, that. Nancy Canifex. Yeah, she's a an old family friend. No, just kidding. She's a, yeah. I, I, she's, she's a bleeding heart liberal. I'm glad that, I, that we got her along. In the face of the impending extinction of the white race, there is a militant new movement fighting to prevent white genetic genocide. Not sure what all that means. Since 1972, the population of the white race has been steadily decreasing. In contrast, the populations of the mud races have exploded. For, I guess for all of us, the, the personal reaction is, how can our own kids be doing stuff like this? It's, it's just not even comprehensible to me. Congratulations on winning the Career of the Year Award. Uh, I wish some of my close Christian relatives in northern Indiana could have been hit with some of the fact sheets. Not that it would do much good. Keep up the good work. We have one hell of a fight on our hands to preserve the existence of the of our white race, as Hitler found out some 50 years ago. Delinda S. Judeoco. What does that mean? Uh, death to Judaism. If they violate our constitutional rights and say we can't put out our literature, we have no choice but to result to, to acts of, of violence and really to plunge this country into a terrorist war they've never seen before. In his journal, Ben kept articles about all of the towns he'd shaken up distributing Should world church literature. I don't believe that there's going to be um, a solution to the problem of intolerance and hatred through law enforcement. I worry about the expectations placed upon schools. As a mother of an interracial child, it has been a great challenge to be in this community. When my son was little, he was very cute and sweet. He's now about six feet tall, and the attitude toward him has changed dramatically, and it's been devastating. In the words of Pogo, you know, it's not, it's not just uh, it's not just thugs and rats out there. We have met the enemy, and it is us. There is an awful lot of intolerance in this community. Town meetings, marches, and unity rallies only convinced Ben that he'd been right all along. But the tactics of the ARA got to him. And, uh, the anti-racist faction member, I don't know if you're familiar with that group. Uh -huh. You can see that, that we're setting up armies for, for both causes. There's the, there's the pro-white camp and there's the anti-white camp. I mean, that's how I look at the world. And I, and I try and make every effort that I do clear which, which camp I stand. No, and I, and I do get really kind of emotional when I, when I talk about the AI. I was trying to come across to him that I'm not there to kick his ass, and I'm just realizing how completely brainwashed he is and how, like, how little there is I can do to change his mind any other way.
the only option is to drive them to where they know they can't win, let them know what they're up against. They've basically declared war on us, and they're, they're trying to stomp us out violently. They put out flyers uh, detailing my address and to provoke people to, to come and confront me and, and attack me. A lot of people were against a very confrontational stance that we were trying to promote, which wasn't even that confrontational in my opinion. Tired of death threats and smashed windows, Ben made his way to World Church headquarters and joined what was only a handful of people. He was now faced with the types of sacrifice that often made young people drift out of the movement. He had no job, his girlfriend left him, and one day was the same as the next. Really, I mean, if you're not going to stand up for your beliefs, life is just really not worth living. To want to live in a world where, where blacks have power over whites, where Jews are in control, you know, I, I think that, that's a sickness and I'd like to eradicate that sickness. About two weeks after I filmed Ben, I heard news reports of a man on a deadly racist rampage in Illinois and Indiana. He was driving a blue Ford Taurus. Chicago police identified this man, Benjamin Smith, as someone being sought in conjunction with the weekend shooting spree. This morning, a man was shot to death outside a Korean church. He reportedly church. has ties to a group called the World Church of the Creator, which distributed anti-Semitic literature in Bloomington, Indiana last Funeral year. services are to be held tonight to Ricky Bird's song. His alleged killer was Benjamin Smith. During a struggle with police, Ben took his own life. Two of his victims lay dead and nine wounded. His suicidal action marked a chilling new trend in racist terrorism. About 10,000 skinhead youth in this country, somewhere down the line there's one of them. One of those 10,000 of the crazy ones will eventually do it. It's not going to stop. It's on now.